Welcome back, welcome back to another recipe from Gabby's Delights. Today I'm bringing to you crock pot jambalaya just to go with our crock pot series. Let's jump into this video. So we're gonna start out with some kibasa sausage and we're just gonna cut them into pieces and we're going to brown them in the oven on 350 for about 10 minutes because during the cooking process in the crock pot it doesn't brown and this will release its great flavor. And next, we're gonna start chopping our veggies. So here, I'm just chopping some green peppers and we're just gonna dice them very small. And next up, we're gonna chop our celery, and we're just gonna dice that into small pieces. And lastly, we're gonna dice our onions. We're going to be starting out with three cups of chicken stock and I almost didn't film this because my nails were looking really crazy. The girl missed her appointment but I'll be back this weekend. <laughs> and we're going to start out with some paprika. You know paprika doesn't have any taste but it provides great color. We're going to give some onion powder. Some Cajun seasoning. Some adobo. You have to say it with the accent. <laughs> Some Italian seasoning. And a teaspoon of minced garlic. As well as a teaspoon of tomato paste. And we're going to add our chopped veggies. And this was smelling so good at this point. It wasn't even cooked yet. But just the seasonings with the chicken stock, so we already know it's going to taste phenomenal. And we're just gonna gently stir this all together to get it nice and combined. And now we're gonna add our chicken breast. You can use a boneless chicken thighs as well as like skinless, make sure they're skinless. But I just used um, the chicken breast here because it was just easier and I already had it on hand. And then we're gonna add our brown kibasa sausages. And those sausages are actually turkey. You can use whichever flavor sausage you like, pork, beef, whatever you like, but I just like turkey. And we're going to set this on high for four hours. After two hours, we're going to take the chicken out and we're going to shred it. And now we're just gonna be adding our shredded chicken back to our crock pot. And we're going to be adding two cups, two cups of our parboiled rice. Don't use any other rice with this recipe as it would come out mushy. Parboiled long grain is the best. So that's two cups and we're going to cook that for an additional hour. So I just wanted to give you guys a close up how it's looking after we added our rice back to our crock pot so cook on high for an additional hour and this is how we're looking guys after the rice has been cooking on high for another hour you can stop right here if you don't want to add seafood before all my seafood lovers please continue on to the next step and we're gonna be adding our shrimp. And we're going to just mix our shrimp in with our rice. You don't wanna leave it on top, you wanna mix it in because that steam is going to help the shrimp cook through. 
and you're gonna cook this for an additional 20 minutes after you add it to your crock pot. So cover and cook for 20 minutes guys. And this is how it's looking. We are all done. The rice is nice and flaky, it's not clumpy. This is how your pot pot jambalaya should look. Here's a close up. Mm, 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 mm. The aroma, it was so good, so good. If you give it a try, let me know. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on your notifications. Enjoy!